the way that detailed geological investigations can be used to interpret a smaller scale structure is described by Dr. Riddler of the Geological Survey. Rocks deform in uh, two fundamental ways. One is to break or uh, fracture and fault. The other one is to uh, deform plastically or form folds uh, due to compression of the rock uh, this way. We have here an example of rocks deforming to form folds and we see the uh, original banding or bedding in the rock forming beautiful series of folds here. Now folds are basically of two types. They are either anticlines in which the beds become older towards the core of the fold or they are synclines in which the beds become younger towards the core of the fold. Now how do we tell this in this particular rock? We have here one bed which shows a fundamental feature. You all at one time or another have taken a handful of dirt, thrown it in a glass and watched while the coarser material settled towards the bottom and the finer grain material uh, came down at the top. This bed shows this feature. The coarser, lighter material is present at the bottom. The darker, finer grain material is present at the top. Thus we know that the bed faces out like this and hence the fold is an anticline. It's getting older towards the core. The adjacent fold, of course, is a syncline. Now during this deformation, uh, the rock recrystallizes to form uh, a different fabric than what was originally present. And you can see that in the rock here. This these series of surfaces which tend to be parallel to the core or axial zone of the fold and fan about it is known as fracture cleavage or foliation and it's a response of the rock to this crushing. Uh, 